Alright. Hello. If you saw the opening text, then you know what we're doing today. We are seeing if you can beat FNAF 3 on one deathless run from nights 1 to 5. Now I gotta start on night 1, so feel free to skip to night 2 if you want to see the night of- if you don't want to see the night of nothing. to honk that. Thank you. So yeah, feel free to skip tonight too if you don't want to see the Night of Nothing, but you saw the text, you know what I'm doing. I'm seeing if I can beat FNAF 3, if it can be done without dying on Nights 1 to 5. Thought there was a thing sitting on my desk. Right, so, this is the night where nothing happens, so we're just going to sit here and run the clock out together, and I won't let it be awkward silence. Hey, if you like horror, you should check out my um, Survivor's Daily Routine audio story. It's a horror story. <laughs> Actually, here's a picture of the antagonist in the FNAF Plus office that I drew pretty happy with that picture. I thought it came out nicely. But yeah, I'll put the thumbnails for that at the end of the video. It's just, if you like horror, it's there. That's a horror story. It's a very slow horror story, but that's the kind of horror I like. So I thought it was interesting. Recently I was watching Markiplier's um, FNAF 3 revisit video, and his strategy was to keep spring trap on this camera. And I thought that was actually a really interesting idea. I'm not going to do it though. Last time I tried somebody else's strategy instead of my own, which is keep spring trap on cam 8, it came back to bite me. <laughs> I lost control of him trying to keep him on this camera. And this keeping him here is stupid because you have two vents in this same spot. I don't know why people like this spot so much. It's not a good place to keep spring trap. I like Cam 8 because there's no vents. The most inconvenient thing that can happen there is the puppet. <coughs> Fair, but yeah. Anyway, I decided to come back to FNAF 3 for this episode because I need a break from 4. I've been playing FNAF 4 a lot and I just need a break from it. FNAF 4 just scares me so much. I Last episode, if you saw it, I was so uncomfortable by the end of it, I honestly was hoping to get jumped so I could be done. I'd had enough, you know. I'd had enough. <laughs> and it's been quite a week for FNAF in general. You had the movie cast just getting announced, which... Cool, I like that. I like who we got going it for it. FNAF Plus's menu got revealed. I love it. I loved that a lot. It's not over the top, it's simple and effective with how the animatronics are breathing. It's creepy stuff, I love it. Think I can get this Easter egg again? I got it last time I tried this. First time I'd ever gotten it. Game's been out for almost eight years and that was the first time I'd ever gotten it. Just like, <laughs> just, there's many famous easter eggs in FNAF I've not gotten. I've never gotten Golden Freddy in the first game. I know, I've played the game since it came out, and I've never got Golden Freddy. I'm honestly just saying what comes to mind right now, because there's not much to talk about on night one. You might notice I'm not in my usual place. Nope. <laughs> I gotta record this video in a different room, because that room is being gutted right now. It'll look very different next time I record in there. Yeah! And I'm playing on a very small tray that barely has enough room for my mouse, so this should be interesting. I'm trying to beat this game without dying, and I'm not playing in optimal conditions to do it. And no, I'm not going to try to go for the good ending or anything like that. If I do that, that'd be a whole episode just dedicated to it, but if you don't know how to get the good ending, these are some of the clues. Balloon Boy drawing, double-click it, the one on KMA specifically, and then press these buttons on the arcade. 
Very, very simple. Part of me considered just not showing night one, but I feel like I have to if I'm tr <laughs> trying to make this authentic. I have to show the night where nothing happens. Alright, let's go get purple guy. Or I guess rather he gets me. I can't run him. This time I... Ah, man, nope. I got out of there when I did it on the mobile version about a year ago now. We found one. A real one. I know. Alright, Springy, where are ya? Hi. Hi. Hi, Springy. Let's get you here. <laughs> Next. There he is. Probably the most iconic FNAF character ever. play this game is I always go for reboot all just to, you know keep everything online and he moved again that's fine now the video I'm considering making because some Hello? people still don't know oh. he's making a video telling you how to play Five Nights at Freddy's the original specifically hi my boy at? Oh my gosh. There he is. Hi. There we go. Alrighty. Springtrap is very good at disappearing. Even though, like, I said this last time I played FNAF 1, you can control him more so. Hi. But the thing is, which would make this somewhat easier to do a one life challenge in than FNAF 1, but the thing is he can still... He can ignore you, and he can come at you from any direction he wants to. Unlike FNAF 2, which I did beat without dying once, uh, you've got to... On that game, you can just rely on the loop. The loop the character's moving. You can't do that with this game. Or the first game. Fourth game, sure. He moved again. Fourth game, sure, but fourth game is just hard. Hello, Springy! Now, Night 2 really isn't too bad, but I did die last time I did this challenge <laughs> on FNAF 2, or Night 2 in this game. <laughs> Where are we at? We'll be up here. I got that fence sealed so it doesn't matter. Hello? I thought I heard a vent, but nope, he's back here. Now, I do see the validity of keeping him on Camp 4. There isn't a vent there, but the problem with that, in my opinion, is Phantom Mangle. It's an instant audio device turn off, and honestly, those are like the most valuable thing in the game. You can figure out where he is without cameras if you're good enough. The audio devices are kind of cru crucial, though, because they're the- they're- oh shit! They're basically the doors of this game. They're basically the doors of this game. So... Because, like, even if the camera's out, if you know Springtrap is on a camera, you can wait for the static, because it'll still static up when he moves. So you can still kind of understand what's going on. Remember when people thought that was the puppet? I do. I see why, but I, I never really believed that one. <laughs> He's back. Shh, 
He'll be on camp five. Okay, he's back on eight. That audio cue right there only starts playing if he gets to camp five or closer, or he gets through a vent without you sealing it. So that's not hard to understand. He's back on camp five. Hello. Trying to just not use the cameras too much so they don't die on me. Hi. He's back. Last time Phantom Foxy, who I think is the scariest guy in this whole game, didn't get me. I guarantee I'm gonna see him this time. He's on five. It's alright, it's alright. He's on five, I know. But yeah, I understand, like, the idea that he was going for with keep the spring trap here, because there's no vent, you know, immediately. Is he up here? He's there. So, Hello. this. The thing is, though, he... Did he move back? He did, okay. Hi. Okay, easy enough. So yeah, I like Cam 8. The biggest issue with Cam 8 is the puppet. That is admittedly a big issue, but there's no perfect place, and I never really appreciated that before, but there is no perfect place to keep Springtrap where he can't. The cameras that don't have phantoms have vents, basically, is what it comes down to. That's actually a brilliant way to balance, and I never even realized it before. Like, it's so simple, but it is honestly a brilliant way to balance it out. You have to either choose... Ah, the shadow cupcakes. Very nice. You have to either choose keep Springtrap on a camera with a chance of a phantom appearing on said camera, or keep Springtrap um, in a place where there's a vent, or in some cases where there's two vents. So... Yeah, I get... I get it. Man, Freddy got torn up like the door in The Shining, and so did Bonnie. Purple guy! Third night. This is the night I could die. Alright, let's find our boy, shall we? Hey, he's already here! Perfect! You know, there's a phantom that can come at you from every way. I'm surprised there's not just one that can randomly spawn when you come to this side of the office like Foxy does. I'm honestly surprised that's not a thing. Maybe it would have been too much, I don't know. Hi. Now, I don't have any vents sealed, so I'm just going to preemptively seal one, just in case. Now, if I pan over and I do see Phantom Foxy, I will probably just let him jump me, because I'm coming over to reboot anyway. It would just waste time despawning him by putting the camera back up, so... Okay. Hi, Phantom Freddy, I don't have time for you. I don't have time for you. My friend, you can go on by. I don't have time to deal with you right now. Springtrap's here. I should probably seal this. Vent! Yep, he's coming for it! I knew it! I knew you were gonna do it! Okay, he's back here. Get back here. There we go. And this is the strategy I used to beat Night 6 in this game. I just... Kept him on cam 8, and I rebooted all every single time. If you don't wait, you have to... But the old mobile version worked a little differently than this version does. Any day now. Hi, Freddy. Hi. 
Freddy's here, so that's just going because Freddy's here. Okay, fair enough. Do I think it's possible to beat FNAF 3 without dying a single time? Yes. Do I think I could probably do it? Hmm. That's... that's... that's a tough question, actually. Okay, I heard the sound of him moving. Hi. I swear, these nights feel like they go on for a lot longer than the, the first night does, where nothing happens. Hey, buddy. What's up? I'm surprised you didn't move. Okay, there you go. So you went to either 9 or 7. Hello. And you're back here. Easy enough. I was just checking. Because I know Phantom Foxy could start appearing on this night. And if he was there now, I could just get rid of him with the camera. Trying not to. <laughs> Hi. In the old mobile version, Phantom Foxy would jump you after you put this thing down. And that actually was a problem because you would have to reboot everything two times in a row. He doesn't do that on this version, so like I said, it plays a little differently. And I beat the old mobile version, the original. I did not beat this particular version of the game. <laughs> Hello, old sport. It's me, Yatsby. If I had a glass, I'd hold it up. I'm not gonna... Hi. Okay. And Phantom Freddy is gone. I think I have that vent sealed. I think he just... That's either Freddy or he moved to Cam 5 again. Which, fine. I can work with both. If this thing hurries up. Okay, he moved. Hi. Here. Okay. Gotta find him. Gotta find the boy. He's there. Let's go here. Hi. Come on. Let's go here. I'm gonna... <laughs> and, oh, hey. Cupcake. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna seal this vent because he's closest to it. And I value my life. Where are you at, my boy? Springy! Hello. Nope. Where is he? Shh. Hey! What's up? Here's a toast to you, old sport! <laughs> Hi, buddy. I, uh... Did not expect you to do that to me. So how do you want to play this game, William? You know, your design really is awesome. I gotta say, it's pretty spectacular. I sweet-talked my way to victory! <laughs> Woohoo! That was a little close. I sweet-talked my way to victory. Okay, last time I did this, I died on night four, so... I think I will. I've thought about making that video for like a year. I think I probably will make a video about how to play Five Nights at Freddy's, the original. Because some people still don't know how to play the original. I really don't know how. It's been out for eight and a half years. I've been a fan of it for eight and a half years. How has it already almost been a decade? How has it already almost been a decade? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna forget the fact that a decade has gone by almost. I think the movie's probably gonna come out for the 10th anniversary. Because they're filming it next year, it would only make sense. Hey look, the cupcake stayed on the plate.
Love that. Alright, where's the, where's the boy at? Yeah, let's get him Hi. here. Now this is the night puppet becomes a thing, so... Hi. Old Springy might become a bit of an issue, keeping him here all the time. Of course, last night I had to improvise a little bit. Uh, this one. It's fine. I, I figured that would happen about then. I know, audio devices error. Mangle would have done that if I'd stayed on Camp 4 longer than I did. That's not. Uh... <laughs> oh. That was a bad shit. I can't let him get this close to me this early. Fuck. Okay, let's get him here. <laughs> got him. All right, gotta move quick. Gotta go fast. I've never played Sonic the Hedgehog, but the movies were good. I'm going to die. I will die now, on this night, unless I can get him back up to Camp 5. The odds of which are, oh, maybe so, maybe kind of good? Oh, I did it. Okay, he's on Camp 5. Can I get him to Camp 8? Can I recover? Hello? Shit. Oh, hell no. No, okay, we're gonna go for this camera. Hi. Here. Okay, he's there. Fair. Okay. Fair. Oh, no. Well, I would have been surprised if I could have beat this on my first try. I haven't played this game properly in forever. Shit, he's right in front of me, isn't he? That's a problem if he is. Where, where's the boy? Oh, the boy's still here. I have a chance! Oh, where did you go, Oh shit. Alright, it's fine. It's not fine, actually. I'm a dead man! Hi! Screw you. I'm a dead man who walks around! I got that. You know what? You're gonna have to come to me, Springtrap. Hi, buddy. Are you there? There he is. I'm gonna make you do all the work if you're gonna get me. Alright, so my thoughts. Can you beat FNAF 3 without dying once? I think you can. I got really unlucky there, though, because I could not find Springtrap right away. And if you can't do that on the later nights, you're pretty much screwed. If you want to do it without dying once, that is. So I got to night four, just like I did in the last one. I got to night four. I'm satisfied with that. You can get all the way to night four without dying once. So I might try this challenge with this one more time, but I'm satisfied. So... Like I said at the beginning, check out the uh, Survivor's Daily Routine. It's four stories, and it's a horror story. If you watch Five Nights at Freddy's, you obviously like horror, so check it out. I'm uh, very proud of those videos. I put a lot of work into those. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back again with more Five Nights at Freddy's and more other random stuff in due time. Man, I got so... Oh, man, that was just pitiful, that last run.